Hey everybody, Cougar here. I got a couple of new mods to show you today, but I also have a mod installation tutorial tacked on to the end of the mod showcase. If you're just here for the mod installation tutorial, you can skip ahead to eight and a half minutes into this video. Eight minutes and 30 seconds ahead, you will find the mod installation tutorial. As always, thanks for watching. Okay, everybody. A couple of mods to show you today and a couple of updates to talk about. The first mod I want to show you is a simple quality of life upgrade for your prawn suit. All it does is it allows you tur to turn the prawn suit headlights off or on using the Q key. That's all it does, but I've seen enough people asking how do I do this, why can't I do this on the forums that I thought it would be worth pointing out that there now is a mod that allows you to turn the prawn suit headlights on or off. A uh, couple of things I wanted to talk about before I show you the next mod. They're basically just updates to other mod showcases I've done. The first is the map mod. When I first showed you the map mod, I knew that there was a feature that allowed you to remotely change what the scanner room was scanning for, but I couldn't quite figure out how to make it work. Uh, I knew it required the middle mouse button at some point. What I didn't realize what was that it you have to hover your mouse cursor over the scanner room icon on the map and then push the middle mouse button, and it will allow you to remotely change what the scanner room is scanning for. That is a very handy feature, in my opinion, and I'm sorry I was such a blockhead. I was not able to figure out how to make it work in the first video I made about the map. The second thing I wanted to talk about was in the last video I showed you Lilin's Multimod. At the time that I made the video, Lilin's Multimod was not compatible with QMod Manager, which is the mod manager that is used to install basically every other mod on Mod Nexus, every other Subnautica mod on Mod Nexus. Now Lilins has updated her multi mod to be compatible with QMod Manager. So you can download the QMod Manager compatible version of Lilins multi mod, and it makes installation and use of Lilins multi mod that much easier. All right, the second mod that I wanted to show you today, the second new mod. Welcome it, aboard, Captain. Thank you is the Auto Sort Lockers mod. Now this is a significant quality of life upgrade for Subnautica. Basically it allows you to build two types of lockers. One is the Auto Sorter Locker that we're looking at right here. Anything you dump into here will automatically be sorted into the receptacle lockers. And you can build as many of these as you want and you can change what is being sorted into these lockers using this little auto sort receptacle setting uh, gear down here. So you can choose from categories of items such as electronics or tools and equipment or general upgrades, that kind of stuff, or you can change it to, you can have it sorting individual items that you can collect in the world. Now, not every collectible material in Subnautica is on here, but you've got eight pages of individual items to choose from here. So you can, it's very customizable in terms of how you want to set up your sorting. And let's say for instance, now I've got all these receptacles here in one room just for the purposes of demonstration. But, of course, you can put these lockers anywhere you want on your base and then just have one auto sorter uh, locker that you dump everything into. And let's say, for instance, you want to have all your food, water, and first aid kits stored in the same room where you have your water filtration plant. For me, that would be in my bedroom. Or let's say you wanted to have all your bioreactor fuels in the room that your bioreactor is located in. So you would build an auto sort receptacle locker in your bioreactor room, and then anything you dump into the auto sorter, no matter where it is on base, will find its way into the bioreactor fuel locker in the room where your bioreactor is. Uh, just as another example, Let's say you want all your batteries, power cells, ion batteries, and ion power cells in the same room where you have your 
battery charger and power cell charger. For me, that is down in my nuclear power plant room. So you would build one of these in the nuclear power plant room and then dump all your batteries, power cells, ion batteries and power cells into the auto sorter anywhere on base and it would they would find their way into that locker. Uh, just for uh, before I demonstrate how it works, let me just mention that these uh, the default values for these, there is a fairly significant cost to building these. The auto sorter itself requires two pieces of titanium, a computer chip and two rubies to build. The auto sort receptacle lockers each require two pieces of titanium, one piece of uraninite, and one piece of magnetite to build. That's each. Now that is a fairly significant amount if you want to build a ton of receptacles, as I have here. But you can change that value. It's very simple. You go to your Subnautica directory, find the QMods folder, find the auto sort lockers folder, open the mod file with any text editor, WordPad, Notepad, whatever you have, and change the easy build value from false to true. And then save and exit that file. That's it. That's all you have to do. Just change that one value from false to true. And all of these lockers, including the auto sorter itself and the receptacles, now only cost two pieces of titanium to build. The receptacles themselves are as big, I know they look like the smaller wall lockers, but they are as big as a regular standing locker. They are each 8 by 6. Alright, so just for the purposes of demonstration, now I have picked up basically, I tried to pick up basically one of everything that I could find in my base to demonstrate this. And what we're going to do is now start dumping these things into the auto sorter. And as we go along, it will sort these into the appropriate receptacles. There is a, an adjustable delay on how quickly it does this sorting. The default value is one second. You have one second between each sorting. And that, I, I think, is good because it gives you a chance to, let's say you put something you didn't mean to put in there by accident in there and you want to take it back out again. You have a little time to get it back out before it gets sorted and you don't have to track it down and figure out where it went. Uh, but you could have that delay 15 seconds or no seconds at all. The, the sorting could be instantaneous. Now you see I've got a couple of things left in here that I had not created receptacles for. That I was you know, trying to create as many categories and, and as, as I could, but I didn't get everything. Uh, that's fine. You'll figure that out as you go along as well. That is it for the auto sort mod. Uh, we talked a little bit about updates and upgrades. Uh, I showed you the prawn suit headlight switch on and off mod. I mentioned that Lily's Lilin's multi mod is now compatible with Q Mod Manager. I mentioned that to in the map upgrade, you middle mouse button on the scanner room icon to remotely change what the scanner room is looking for and we talked about the auto sort lockers mod so thanks for watching everybody leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying these mod showcases and i will be back with more of them as more mods are released thanks for watching everybody stay safe stay dry Hey everybody, Cougar here with a quick tutorial for you on how to find, download, and install mods for Subnautica, specifically from the Nexus. We're going to ask the Google, how do we find the Subnautica Mods Nexus? Take us to Subnautica Nexus. I strongly encourage you to create a login for Nexus Mods. This is a great resource for all your modding needs and it is entirely free unless you choose to create a premium membership. The first mod you're going to want to download is the QMod Manager. To do that, once you have signed it, created a login and signed in, you're going to use the Download Manual button. That is going to download the mod through your Chrome browser. Then you are going to show the mod in your downloads folder. Double click the QMods setup, run it. Yes, we want to allow it to make changes. 
You want to make sure that your path to your Subnautica installation folder is correct. For me and for most people, it will be C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Subnautica. Next and install. Now it is installed. Now we will navigate to our Subnautica installation folder, which again will be in your C drive program files x86 steam steam apps common subnautica now we're going to right click new create a new folder and name it qmods now we are ready to go we can go back to mod nexus and download a mod let us download two mods while we're here let's get the subnautica ma map again you're going to use the download manual button and again, as long as we're here, let's get another mod just for demonstration purposes. We will get the EasyCraft mod. We're going to use the download manual button. Now we will show it in the download folder and extract it. I'm using 7-zip. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to extract it here to our download folder, but you can extract it directly to the QMods folder if you want. So now we have these two folders, one called Subnautica Map, one called EasyCraft. We are going to select those folders, copy or cut them out of your download folder, navigate to your Subnautica QMods folder, which again will be in C Drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Subnautica, and QMods, and paste these two mod folders into the QMods folder. And that's it. You're done. You should be good to go. Now you can just start up the game and be these mods should be ready to roll. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Leave a like and subscribe if that was helpful to you. And we'll be doing more Subnautica stuff in the very near future. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe. Stay dry.